to the Carver's Wood Shop. This is Arlene. As you can see across the street, I have the other pop-up that I did last year for the Carver's Wood Shop to do vendor shows. I'm starting another project. It's a little rough looking, but um, it's got a lot of potential and it's got electric. It's not completely gutted out because what I'm using this for is a little different. When I do things around the farm here, I usually take the tractor and put tools in the scoop of the tractor and the front end loader and then I get my saws and stuff all out. This is going to be my rolling toolbox workbench. Okay, this slides in and out. That will be the workbench. And then I'll put all the tools in here or paints or whatever I'm working on in here to do a job around here. So I don't constantly have to put things back into the truck or back into the barn. Um, you know, and then I won't be able to find stuff. I'll have everything here. The nice thing about the 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 pullout that I'm using as a workbench, um, I can roll that right back in and shut it, and I can leave the tools on there if I'm working on a project. As long as it's not over five or six inches tall, I can leave boards and stuff, and just it takes a little effort, but I can get it in with no problem. And it goes to about halfway, of course, up to the, about the green uh, bin that you see there. And there's boxes underneath that fit, so it's perfect. I can just kind of slide everything over. Um, the other nice thing about it is I have a electric on this one, which I didn't have on the other one. Um, I put batteries in my other one for the shows. But the nice thing about the electric on this one is I can just plug it in one place, and I have outlets all over the place. I'm leaving this one corner to recharge the batteries and things that I'll need this summer and um, it's awesome for that so and then I have a cabinet on the other side I'm going to put the power tools into that, that I don't use all the time but would need with me if I'm doing a project and I can haul some planks and stuff on the workbench if I need to take some longer pieces of wood I can do up to eight or ten feet I can put some sheets of plywood over the top it shouldn't be any problem so um, that's my idea. Um, one thing I've done is I've been using this peel and seal. And at first I thought, well, that's going to make it look really crappy. But I don't think it will look too bad after I paint it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this peel and seal over the top and over all the seams on the roof, especially and maybe on the corners. And then I'll never have to touch that for a long, long time. Um, that's my idea to do it once and be done with it. Um, one of the other things I wanted to do is paint it something different. And so that one over there is painted that cranberry and gray with a black frame to match my dad's truck. This one will match my dad's tractor in honor of him. And I'll put Zomer Farm on, on the top in black. And it will be a green top, black lettering, yellow in the center, green on the bottom, and black frame all the way around. And I think it will look really cool when, once I get it done. It will look like a John Deere item when I'm finished. So that's my plan, and I hope it works out. I think uh, I'll have fun working on it. Um, I know the peel and seal doesn't look great, but if it does the job, this thing is really not meant for the road. But I do have um, I do have a title and it's tagged. And I'll put two new tires on it just like I did the other. And I can take it on the road if I want to. So um, if I need, need another use in the future, I'll be able to uh, do that. But I'm looking forward to doing the spray painting on it and getting the colors just right. Um, so that's my hope. And I hope to get this done in a couple months. Um, carving is kind of put out the sideline for now. Um, I need some other things to take care of right now. And there goes a buggy. Huh. They're always around. And there he goes. Anyway, and that's a truck buggy. You see that? And it's got uh, a little area in the back that they can haul things. All right, folks, take care. We'll talk to you soon, and we'll have another video up very shortly. Bye-bye.